mailbag time. Got something special just here. Let's check it out. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if it's your first time here. Right, these are some super capacitors. Got two of each. One's a one farad, one is a 1.5 farad. That's right, farad, not microfarad, farad. These are rated at 5.5 volts. Sometimes gear uses super caps for like memory retention or stuff like that. So you go, there's two in this little bundle here. You go, just sit, 1.5 farad, 5.5 volt. Don't need them very often, but sometimes you need these things. Thanks to my Patreon supporters, and anyone who supports you on the YouTube memberships as well. Of course, to finance the channel a little bit and help sort of buy things from Melbourne. What on earth is this? This is curious. USB plug, enamelled copper wire. Are those LEDs on there? I think it is. I think I need to plug this in. Well, it's an LED strip. That's running 5 volts. Not much power it's using though. Should find it out. I plugged it into the monitored output of my power supply here. Normally I have the 5 volt jack sitting over here because it's not monitored, it's just always on. So I've unplugged it and plugged it into this one so I can actually see what the current is. It's drawing 100 milliamps basically at 5 volts. It's not too bad. I'll have a power bank for a while, couldn't it? So this LED string took so long to arrive, I actually got to be funded for it, so I got it for nothing in the end. It's a UV LED string. It's basically ultraviolet LEDs. I ordered these in August. It's taken over four months to arrive. That's pretty impressive. All right, next thing. This is a locally purchasing, I think. Question is, what is it? Batteries. Okay, right, now I'm... Well, that's pretty well packaged and stuff. Nice. So these are some 23A batteries, also called A23s. 12 volt. These are 27A, also 12 volt batteries, but these are like skinnier. I recently had a remote control which needed a new battery put on it, and I didn't have a battery for it because all the ones of these I had the 23A batteries or A23s. I had about three of them, they're all half flat, <laughs> and I didn't have any of these A27s or 27As, we call them. So now I've got some. Now I can fix that remote control and get that car remote working again. We'll check this out soon. I think I know what's in here. I think I know. So this is a pump controller. So I actually did a video recently which hasn't been published yet, recorded footage. You won't have a clue what I'm talking about. And you may not do for some time. It could be weeks before I publish those videos. Anyway, it's a pump controller. This one's a variable one so you can actually adjust it up and down. You can change the pressure that it cuts in at. So a lot of these ones available are fixed pressures. You buy them and that's what you get. This one's adjustable. You can actually set the pressures for when a pump starts and when a pump stops. This basically goes on top of a domestic water pump. So if you've got a, like I am on a rural situation where you have water tanks and you have to pump the water to your house, then you need a, a pump or, and a controller for that. And I dish is the one recently, and I've done videos on that, so you'll see that in the future. I thought I'd get one of these because this would have solved my problem straight away, but I didn't have one. So I've got this as a spare. I don't need it right now. I'm going to put this to one side, and when I do have a situation where I need another controller, I'll have one because it's going to happen. Don't forget to get like and subscribe. So this is from Amazon. It's actually arrived fairly quickly. I need a different knife. They ain't gonna cut it. Literally, you know, cut it, you know. Whole week. In fact, I'm here all month. Some um, ineffective bubble wrap. The Art of Electronics, the X chapters. Now this is an extension of the original book, which I also have. Someone did a video on this recently, I can't remember who it was. Was it I'm Sai Guy or something? I can't remember. And it's got a whole bunch of extra supplemental information which wasn't included in the main book. And it goes into all sorts of things. I've got to have the whole set, surely, you know. Now I've got two books to read. I still haven't read the other one, but we'll get there. Right, let's open this up. So as you can see, specifically for me, from BreakoutBoardFactory.com. They've actually contacted me because I did... What was I working on? I was, I was testing a power supply. 
and I had to make myself up a little adapter to use. Now I purchased some from China, which haven't arrived yet. This guy contacted me, I'm sorry I've forgotten your name, um, and said, hey, um, we make these boards, high quality boards, would you like to have some? And I said, okay, and they looked really nice. So he sent me quite an assortment, I believe. Check out this lot. Wow, super generous. Like this, so this is like a micro USB. Let's get a bit closer. These are really impressive. The Breakout Ball Factory. .com. Make sure you check out the link and have a look. I'll just chuck a link down below as well. They make high quality breakout boards. So these aren't like the normal stuff you get from China. These are actually like gold plate and everything. They're really nice. So this one's a micro USB to a breakout. So you can actually solder wires on and break out or whatever you want. And also it's got mounting holes there too. So you actually use it as an adapter. Um, there's loads of those. What's this one here? This has got a 0.5mm pitch QFN16 package breakout board. Wow, so many different ones. Triple 0805 breakout board. There's another one of those USBs. This one's a SOT23 6 pin. TSOP8. It's got so many breakouts, that's awesome. SOP16. So these got castle acid edges as well, so if you actually need to use these to bodge an IC onto a board or make some kind of temporary thing, then you can use these to build them up and do testing. So this is an SIC 16. Very handy because this is what I had to bodge up. I had to go so you got when I was testing a power supply a few weeks ago now. I had one of these USB sockets, these micro USB sockets, and I had some wires soldered onto the pins and they kept breaking. I think I got through three sockets to do that testing because the pins get breaking off. So I actually needed something like this at the time, which is great. You know, so now I've got some for future projects when I'm doing to do more repairs. It's got so many here. TSOP 8, SC70X, DFN8, SOP16. It just keeps on going. I had to do so many. QFN16, I've seen that one. TDSON8. Not familiar with that one. Is that useful like MOSFETs or something? Maybe it is. DFN6. Just so many. It's really impressive. Got quite a large selection. So I don't know if it's actually sent everything they do, or whether it's, it's a DFN6, um, a USB, another out of 5, DFN6, these on. So I don't know if it's sent everyone they do, or whether they've sent a, a partial selection, I'm not sure, but another out of 5. So heaps of these, I'm going to have to sort these out properly and actually um, organise them. Um, obviously I won't know actually what I've got, so. SYC 16 VSOP 8 SOP 23X which is 6 pin there I suppose you can use for all different things can't you um, VSOP 8 again wow just keeps going another out of 5 SC 70 again out of 5s again TSOP 8 Wow. Very generous of them. I mean, these are high quality boards. You can see that they look really nice. No, it's up to 16. I think I've basically covered them all now, haven't I? I think I'll have DFN6. Yeah, I think I've got them all done. Yeah, so I'll go through the rest of them. I think that's it. I'm starting to repeat myself too much. So these are SIC 8s in this format. In this breakout, obviously, just as a little frame. So that's really nice. Thank you very much. I've, I'm sorry, I've forgotten your name. You sent it to me. Um, I might have to overlay it or something. So make sure you go and check out the links down below for these because these are really nice breakout boards. They look really good. By far the best I've seen. So yeah, excellent. So make sure you check out the links down below for any items you've seen here which I can provide you links for. Um, and definitely go and support this guy because he's doing a really nice job with these. I know it's a competitive market with breakout balls with things you can get from China and stuff like that. But what you get from China, the quality is nowhere near the same as these. These are much nicer. Very impressed with these. They're good. So, thanks a lot. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.